Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Rachel Starr. So, um, question I'm getting a lot is, Rachel, how do you tell people you are schizophrenic? All right, first off, telling people you have schizophrenia or bipolar or I any other mental disorder is your business, okay? So you don't need to feel like you have to tell anybody, all right? Um, the exception to that being if you um, are in danger, maybe you're hurting yourself or whatever, or you're in danger of hurting someone else and you need to speak up and be like, hey, by the way, blah, blah, blah. Um, so first of all, don't feel like you have to tell people, all right? That's something private. It's, it's your business, okay? Um, so other than my exception to the rule, uh, how do you tell other people? First of all, uh, my thing is like, do you, you know, you don't need to run around telling everybody like don't feel like you need to you know if you don't feel comfortable telling your friends then then don't and when you feel like you're close enough to tell that person then do um you know and, and we live in like the age of social media so it's pretty easy to tell people nowadays because like like with me i if we become facebook friends like i post a lot of video about videos about it or and i like repost articles so i kind of like you know like anytime a friend like posts let's say a lot of articles on heart disease i assume maybe they have problems with that or like someone in their family does or you know somehow they've been touched by it so i kind of like think it's really easy to break the ice nowadays if you're like Facebook friends with people, Twitter friends or whatever, because if you like repost things like, you know, Mental Health Awareness Month or, you know, stuff like that, it'll really kind of break, break that ice. Um, as far as like me actually sitting down and telling people, um, it was funny because the article about me of women's health came out for um, the schizophrenic thing. You know, it's so funny because I sent it to a bunch of people and like some of them, like, I guess I just assume. <laughs> At this point, people know, like in my other in my life, and they were all like, "Oh wow, Rachel! Like I had no idea." And I'm like, "Oh, you didn't? Oh, surprise! My bad. Um, I just, you know, I'm just a lot of videos about it, right? My bad." <laughs> uh, the hardest thing for me is always dating because I never know like when to, you know, I I've actually tried dating profiles where I posted it on there. Where I actually like posted it on there and it's really funny because when I did I got a lot of guys who were like really into that and it's like awesome um, okay no not not what I was looking for um, but just trying to be up front uh, I definitely don't do that anymore I was a while ago that I just cause I, I just didn't really know how myself to deal with the issue now it's pretty much um, I've accepted that it's just like part of me it's kind of like like put it on the same level honestly it's like having asthma would you, you know, do you really gotta like stress that the first time you meet somebody? No. If you're running a marathon with them, you might wanna throw it out there, you know. Um, but, you know, once you feel comfortable telling a person and go ahead and mentally prepare, what is their reaction gonna be? It might not be good. Um, you know, a lot of people's only, you know, time they've ever seen mental health unfortunately is bad media things and they'll be like oh my god this person's gonna come shoot up the restaurant or something you know um so kind of like mentally prep yourself you know ideally what do you want to happen when you tell this person um and then what's some worst case scenarios what could happen you know if they don't like me if they don't feel comfortable knowing these things you know and what's the best case scenarios um i've had some people tell and it was just like oh cool um <laughs> It is funny, a lot of times when I, I, I tell people, they feel like they, like, it, it, like, I guess if you say, like, you have schizophrenia, it can't get, you, get any worse. Like, anything you tell me, they're thinking, like, hey, hey, she already put it on the table. It doesn't get any worse than what she said. Even though a lot of the things, like, people then open up to me about, I'm thinking, oh, no, sweetie, that's much worse. Oh, God, yeah, you shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> that's intense. Uh, a former pimp, you know, talking about hanging this guy out the window, and I'm like, wow no I'm not sure how you thought mine was worse than that um you know <laughs> mine's a mental disorder yours is apparently yeah uh but yeah people will open up and tell me like weird things and I think it's the reason is they want me to feel like oh it's okay and honestly you guys it is just uh whenever you feel like you're ready to tell someone you know that kind of stuff you know play it out and it's up to you all right, it's nobody's business with yours on this kind of stuff. Um, take as long as you need with it. And um, yeah.
I'm Rachel Starr. Hope that helped. Always feel free to email me, rachel at rachelstarlive.com, and um, just don't expect a quick reply. Uh, as you know, my reading and writing kind of comes and goes, so yeah, I'm out.